So we are proceeding to the second week. So first week is done. So we know in first week what happened? The blastocyst formation occurred, right? I told you a very important question there. Zona pellucida. What is the role to prevent polyspermy and to prevent ectopic pregnancy? When zona pellucida that is covered in the zygote as well as the morula stages, but they get disappear in what blastocyst. That's why blastocyst can be implanted in what uterine cavity that is in the posterior wall of uterus that is the role of what zona pellucida now we are going to the second week second week is very important remember for easy remembering sometimes second week is also called week of two in medicine week of two here everything is two here or phase of two i will tell you you will see why we are calling this week of two so listen here so already what is formed the blastocyst is formed now I am taking this as an embryonic disc. This is called embryonic disc. See what happens in the embryonic disc there will be development of two types of cell. This is called inner mass cell. There will be two types of cell. Inner mass cells as well as there will be development of outer mass. This is called outer mass cell. So this is inner mass cell and this is outer mass. So what happens from inner or what arises from inner mass cell? This is called inner mass cell. From inner mass cell, <coughs> they give rise to epiblast and hypoblast. Remember once again, inner mass cell give rise to Epiblast and hypoblast. What will arise from epiblast? You know what is the important cavity here? Amniotic cavity. Amniotic cavity. And what arises from hypoblast? Primitive yolk sac. Primitive yolk sac. One other question here is about this is an embryonic case. Epiblast is made up of columnar cell. Epiblast is made up of columnar cell. What about hypoblast is made up of cuboidal cell? Cuboidal cell. One of the other questions from here, like historical type question is, amniotic cavity is lined by which cell? Amniogenic cell. Amniogenic cell. And there is a membrane covering the yolk sac, that, yolk, that is called Husserl's membrane. So whatever I have written here, if I come to the figure, this is the inner cell mass, they will form around that is called epiblast, this is the epiblast. What is the cavity here? This cavity is called amniotic cavity. And what about below? Below they will form hypoblast. And what is the cavity here called? Primitive yolk sac. Remember what is the cell here? The cell is called columnar, columnar epithelium. Here it will be cuboidal. Other thing, this is amniotic cavity, these cells are called, the cells, cells lining the amniotic cavity, they are called amniogenic cell, amniogenic cell, the membrane covering the yolk sac, we call it as Husserl's membrane. So this is a thing you have to remember for inner cell mass. So now let's move to, what is it called? So they will produce in the embryonic disc what is formed inner cell mass and this is called outer cell mass. Outer cell mass. Actually inner cell mass form epiblast and hypoblast. What is the embryological name of inner cell mass? Embryoblast. Embryoblast. Embryoblast is getting divided into epiblast and hypoblast. So that arises from inner cell mass. Outer cell mass it is again divided into two. What is the embryonic name of outer cell mass? It is called trophoblast. In terminology, what is trophob means? Trophic, nutrition. Trophoblast means nutrition. So this nutrition, later, this is a thing, later it will become placenta in our body or baby to mummy connection. Huh? Mom and baby is connected by what? Nutrition thing called what? Placenta. That is arising from outer cell mass. That is what? Trophoblast. This trophoblast is again divided into two layers. One is called syncytiotrophoblast. Other is called cytotrophoblast. Cytotrophoblast. 
so syncytio is the outer one and cyto is the inner one so again trophoblast itself is divided into syncytio and cyto what is the terminology meaning of syncytio they are multi nucleated multi nucleated remember it and cyto means cell there is a very important question from here cytotrophoblast what happens to it they will be invading this is called the active layer there is a one important mcq which of the following layer of trophoblast is important among cyto and syncytio which is important cyto is very very important why cyto is important listen here because cyto do two things one is cyto will form syncytio cytotrophoblast so what is important one cyto cytotrophoblast gives rise to syncytio syncytio trophoblast other thing is cytotrophoblast it is the part they will invade the uterus like they have to connect with the uterus right they invades uterus to which layer to decidua basalis they invades uterus to decidua basalis so that's why again repeating why cytotrophoblast is important they do two things they give rise to syncytotrophoblast and they invades uterus to which layer decidua basalis of uterus so remember if i draw the figure here we have already got outer cell mass so this is the embryo blast we have inner cell mass here they will upper they will form epiblast lower they will form hypoblast and we have cavity here cavity here is called amniotic cavity this is called yolk sac you know it and we have outer cell mass outer cell mass is again divided or outer cell mass form trophoblast that is divided again into two layer the outer layer is called syncytio trophoblast outer they form this is called syncytio so this is st and inner is called ct so again outer cell mass form outer st and inner ct remember so we got the figure like this now now so we study it from embryonic this two cell mass arises inner cell mass and outer cell mass from inner cell mass embryoblast from outer cell mass trophoblast now what we are going to do like what we are going to see here so just a briefing what we have seen in the all embryoblast this was a embryoblast there was inner cell mass they form two cavity amniotic cavity and yolk sac and they have epiblast this is called hypoblast this is from inner cell mass then we had outer cell mass outer cell mass itself is divided into two layer st and ct this is st and this is ct now you can see a space here this is a cavity right so now one more layer that is happening here this is called the space what you see here in between extra embryonic mesoderm extra embryonic mesoderm outside the embryo extra embryonic mesoderm the space in between this inner cell mass and outer cell of this space we call it as extra embryonic mesoderm this extra embryonic mesoderm itself will form a cavity that cavity is called chorionic cavity chorionic cavity it is also called extra embryonic sealant extra embryonic see it once again the space here we call it as extra embryonic mesoderm and they will form a cavity what is the name of the cavity chorion chorionic means the placenta will lay part chorionic cavity or it is also called extra embryonic sealer there is a very important histology question from here i want to discuss there are two types of cells here now if you listen here carefully it's very easy to understand see this is a cavity right this cavity is having now two boundary if i look from here so there are cells around here so this is a cells cavities this is a cavity this one boundary here and there are other parts all this all these cells these are cells and all the other cells like the boundary cells all the cells 
that form the cavity. These are the red cavity. Now, all the cells that form the boundary of this cavity, this red mark, all here, this red mark, this type of cells are called somatopleuric, somatopleuric extra embryonic mesoderm. Once again, the cavity is surrounded by cells. This cell is having a name called somatopleuric extra embryonic mesoderm throughout. Except what I have drawn in the green, green here. Where green means this is the yolk sac side. This yolk sac side, this only these cells, they have a specific name that is called splanchnopleuric, splanchnopleuric extra embryonic mesoderm. Splanchnopleuric extra embryonic mesoderm. So splanchno means what? Terminology. Visceral organs. Remember, once again, this extra embryonic mesoderm is forming a cavity called chorionic cavity or extra embryonic sealant. This cavity will have a boundary. They are bounded by cells. All the area of the cells are called somato. Somato means body. Pleuric, extra embryonic. Except in the cells that is situated near the yolk sac. That is only has the name splanchno pleuric extra embryonic mesoderm. So these are the main things happening in week of 2, that is second week. So let's review it. Why week is called as week of 2? It's very easy to understand. Everything is 2 here. What are the 2 here? The 2 means 2 types of cells. Inner cell mass and outer cell mass. Inner cell mass form embryoblast, this will form trophoblast. Other is 2 cavity formed here. What are the 2 cavity? That is amniotic cavity and yolk sac. There are two types of cells here, amniogenic cells, amniogenic cells as well as a cell's membrane. Then what are the two types of cells coming from trophoblast, the outer cell mass? It is ST and CT, again two here. From inner cell mass, epiblast and hypoblast. So like everything is two here. And lastly, extra embryonic mesoderm, this also form bounded by two types of cell. One was called somato, other is called splanchno. So everything is two here. That's why in shortly we call, second week of embryology is called week of two. So like now we got a structure with epiblast, hypoblast, outer cell mass, inner cell mass and the type of cells in the extra embryonic mesoderm. These are the main things happening in what? Second week.